real quick. You can see me throwing this dude around. Oh, he, he never mind. He took himself away. He beat me to it. Okay, I gotta eat food anyways. Mm. Alright, are we ready? I am ready. I'm ready for 38 minutes, Micah. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, let's go back to on a separate window and it won't. So, um, when last we left off, uh, our three new adventuring party members, actually you guys are the whole party, so three new adventurers banded together and uh, defended a tavern from a uh, small horde of goblins that attacked them across the river. Um, immediately following this, uh, Drogon, the party's warlock, decided to seriously shmang it out with a uh, tavern wench and broke her heart. Um, <laughs> that was the top. What is happening? I think he's... Is he still using Senpai? <laughs> yeah, he, he is. <laughs> Stop it, Joseph. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Keep going. It's not even a song. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Okay. <laughs> um, so after a bit of a kerfuffle... Uh, you guys figure everything out between uh, Goosh and the barmaid. Uh, I forget what her name was. I think it was like Heidi or something. Um, and a dwarf came out and commissioned the three of you to deliver supplies for him. Um, he also mentioned that he was going to go ahead of this wagon and uh, would meet you guys in the town of Pandalin. Um at which point he would give you guys a payment, which was 10 gold pieces per person. Actually, I think you guys negotiated up. So, yeah, we did. We negotiated more, and then freaking uh, Drago, Drago, whatever his name is, tried to steal it. Dragon tried to freaking steal my share. And Carrie's share. Or I, a, I, a, uh, Aria nailed it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, um... That being covered, uh, the next morning, um, oh right, you guys are given lodging as part of your recompense for saving the tavern. Mm. Um, the me next morning, Gundren uh, sees you all off, and you are notified that there is a cart outside with an additional party member waiting. Of course, you can take your time and have breakfast if you like. Ah, free breakfast. All right, Joe. <laughs> Uh, well, I start off my morning, personally, by taking a, a nice shower and cleaning my hands thoroughly to get all of the gunk from the day before off to start off my day fresh and clean. Mm. Yeah, so uh, you go to the, the barkeep today, which is a totally different person, and ask for a shower, and he goes, oh, sorry, you want a what? <sighs> I understand. I understand that this might be... A little bit unheard of. Here's what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to get some leather sack of some sort, fill it with water, hammer it to a wall, and poke some holes in the bottom for me. I'm willing to pay one piece of gold for this. Uh, all right, you've got yourself a deal. Excellent. He uh, calls out for his son. He goes, hey, hey boy, go, go fill that sack with some water. And bring it back here. And... Uh, Within about ten minutes, you've got a makeshift shower rigged up um, in one of the one of the washrooms. Normally, there's just a tub with a basin, um, but they like tie the back over, and um, yeah, hand you a nail so that you can poke your own holes. Excellent. I poke my holes and I start scrubbing myself clean, singing whilst okay. doing so. It's cold as fuck, and the water gets real gross. That's okay. <laughs> in the room next to him. And I <laughs> he drills a hole in the wall. So he can... <laughs> I'm in the room next to him. And Brennan, or I know that... Um, Goosh. Goosh is taking a shower. So I start repeatedly flushing the toilet. Over and over. <laughs> I have a leather sack, you dude. I, there's, no, there's, no, there's no running water. 
You gonna fire a freaking fireball at me? How, using fireball. what's in the character sheet, are you going to keep the water? I'm going to use my. Oh, did you just pull this up for me? I did. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going to use my burning hands. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh. Go ahead and make a, uh, make a spell casting check. Just roll a d20. Uh, just, just click on charisma. Is burning hands a cantrip? It is not. It is a first level spell, which Kevin Kevin, has I hate you. <laughs> 25, oh. baby. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my right. god. Um, no freaking way. The water changes from like freezing cold to you suddenly hear like a bubbling sound and you look up as there's just a like jet of fire that's that's just reaching into the uh the pouch basically. Oh and god, it, can um, I do an athletic save to get the hell out of the way of it? It pressurizes and the water starts spraying out and the bottom of the sack pops <laughs> open. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. No! Alright. Pretty low DC. That is good enough. Yeah, Bet. you like pull yourself out of the way as a it, it's like half steam, half water at this point. Just basically a, a whole pot of boiling water explodes over your head. Can can we just talk about briefly that Kevin wasted a first level spell and a natural twenty to set on his trying to freaking kill me? Yeah. Wait, what do you yeah, mean I wasted? Okay. It? I can't I can't get it back. Well, they're Not they're really rare. Bad. Since oh, you're a you can actually get it back in an hour. But you're gonna oh, need a that's cool. to do that. Now, um, Arya, are you doing anything? Um, probably just sitting outside on the front porch eating an apple or something. All right, sure, oh. yeah. Uh, you can like <laughs> sit on the balcony of the second floor. Um, at which point you would see there is a uh, wagon pulled up out front, oh. which is one that you're meant to take. Um, Pitched up with one oxen and a uh, man, presumably, is sitting at the front of the carriage. Is he uh, cute? I don't know, Stone. Would you care to describe yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is it Joey? It's it Joey. Is. I don't think oh, Joey. Oh, I thought it was an AI. Oh, I didn't realize you were talking about me. Um, yeah, no, I mean, he's he's an old man. In a full, in some chainmail armor, and he's just kind of wa carelessly looking into the sky. All right. The sky. Are you a human? How true. Yeah, he's a human. He's a human. Okay. Is um, that him with the shirt so, off right there? <coughs> I'm, there's some options. I'm, what are you, I'm sorry. You What's your character's name again? Paladin. Sewing. Like sewing. S S apostrophe L E N. Okay. So in. Hmm. How is, uh... Alright, we've got some options for you here. Do you, uh... I, think I a... like the first one. Huh? I like the first one. Alright. Um... Is that good enough? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, let me hold on, let me set you real quick so that you are sewing and healing tools. All right, there we go. You exist. Yes. Um, yeah. So, all right, you see him just chilling, hanging out. Uh, so, and what's your passive perception, by the way? Uh, is that on my character sheet? It would be, yeah. So, uh, passive perception is at, it's below your base stats and skills. Oh, uh, 12. Parentheses perception. 12. 12. 
Oh, hey, I have that. Yeah, so you can, uh, with a 12, you can see this uh, ranger is watching you from the balcony. Um, you can also hear both Arya and Soen, um a loud popping sound and then a bunch of yelling uh, and see a little flash of, of red and light from somewhere around this area. Anyways, you guys uh, finish up your shower, finish up your breakfast or lack of breakfast and uh, assemble outside in front of this wagon. I walk up to the wagon and I go, who's this man? Oh, what a nice young man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is going to be awful. Hello, hello, little boy. I'm not a boy. I'm a dwarf, you imbecile. Oh, you should speak to your elders a little more kindly, young man. How old are you? Oh, old enough. All right, what are, what are you doing here? How can we help you? Um, <laughs> Goose, you would know that this is this is likely the additional person who'd been contracted to help deliver the supplies. Ah, ah, but I'm testing to make sure it's him. Ah, I see, I see, okay. Also, each of you did receive, in Roll20, I'm showing you, this contract. get that uh, uh where am i looking did i do what in roll 20 um here let me try again oh i see it oh, yeah see it. oh shoot all right let's get on this yeah i agree all right anything you guys want to do before you head out um, let's just do a quick inventory of, of everything that we have. So I guess like, for example, I know that I have, um, like, I guess three fourths of a wine bottle still, cause I, I only poured one cup for Aria. So like what, what general resources do we have before we head out? Well, I'm holding a stick. <laughs> <laughs> do we need some food? Perhaps. You guys have like probably a day or two's worth of field rations in your packs and there's also been food provided that's in the wagon for you oh, okay we'll probably be fine then uh so so Don't goosh worry. goosh takes a look around does a quick inventory for things and gives a thumbs up to uh aria and oh god what's your name dragon call me flamio 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 i like it or flamio. i'm gonna call you flamio okay uh, i give a thumbs up to aria and flamio and then I attempt to give a, a thumbs up to Soen, but uh, I don't I don't know if he's dead or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, um, you guys can sit on the wagon or walk alongside it. Um, I choose to sit. I have short legs. I'll walk. Okay. I'll fly. All right. All right. So Ari's walking. Um, who's driving? Not the old man. <laughs> Oh, God, this right. is going to end poorly. So, um, with Drogon at the helm, uh, the lot of you set out uh, on the road to Phandalin. Um, let's go ahead and move this forward. So, you spend the next three days, by the way, let me know if there's anything you want to do in this time, following the high road south from Neverwinter, um, and you recently, in the last day, have veered east along the Tribor Trail. Um, so far in the journey, it's been pretty peaceful. You've encountered no real trouble. You know, every now and then you'll see a wild, wild cat in the night trying to trying to mess you up, and you'll see signs of bears, but nothing too significant. Um, at the fourth day, um, as you guys start to come around a bend, you spot two dead horses sprawled about fifty feet in front of you, blocking the path. Each of these horses has a, uh, several black feathered arrows sticking out of it, and the woods press close to the trail with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, before we even get there... Oh, boy. Before we even get there, I would like to get out and pee. 
He's like, yeah, what? And, and pee. He's got a small bladder like his small legs. Yes, oh, this is right. true. <clears throat> Drogon, Arya, douche. All right, douche, where are you peeing? Uh, well, I, I need, I need, you know, some peaceful area, privacy, preferably. So, I, you know, I go, I go into some, some bushes, uh, a little bit further into the forest. I think he actually walks through some poison ivy. Well, well hold on now, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Goosh knows what poison ivy looks like. Make a nature check for me. God dang it. Uh, uh oh. Mikey, did you say this is a module? It is, yeah. I got a 12 That's on the nature check. Familiar to me. I hope I don't know this module. Oh, do you Do you actually? What's the module that you played before? I don't remember, but I, rem I remember horses with arrows stuck in them on a trail in a wagon. Oh, we're That's about to make this like, interesting for you. The introductory module, I am modifying it, but... Okay. We'll uh, I rolled a 12. A 12? Yeah, you uh, pick through some clusters. It looks like there might be a bit of poison ivy here and there, but but you're you're good. All right, I you know I unzip real quick. Is this, is this far enough for you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right. And I just I just let the mighty river flow, you know. While while he's peeing, I want to walk up to Flamio and kind of just stare and like as uh, like really uncomfortably <laughs> close, like stare into the side of his head. Yeah. Like into his like, ear, like, or like, <laughs> yeah, like like he's not facing me, but I'm like yeah, like I'm standing next to him, just kind of staring in his head. Okay, I, I just go. What a strange looking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Flamio, you should woof. What? You should bark. Bark. Yeah, just to confuse him. No. So I look at the old man. Oh God! The, the the pure look of of elderly confusion and mm. just makes me so heartbroken that I, I I I remember my father and what people would do like when he you know started going through all Alzheimer's and, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, come here, young man, young 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 feller. As like you know, just trying to make him feel good about his age. I say, follow me, as I lead him towards Goosh in the woods. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, uh, now, do they also a few walk things, through the poison ivy? A few things that happen all at once here. As you two turn to go, Arya, you hear a snap uh, somewhere up in this corner, uh -oh. um, and okay. a bit of a, a squawk that sounds sort of familiar. Um, and Goosh, two arrows right as you're zipping up. Come and stick into the uh, the tree right near me. Right next to you, immediately followed by two more. What's your AC? Uh, uh, sixteen. All right, two arrows pierce into your side. Oh, <laughs> bloody! Oh what the hell was that? Hitting you for seven points of damage. Oh and, shit! Uh, four points of damage. Yeah. Oh. And I need right, I everyone to roll initiative. Just uh, so everyone knows, real quick, I have four HP left. What I got? Initiative? Yeah. Oh, my last as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm last. Strong chance I, I die here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I get knocked out. All right. Who got what? Um, I got seven. The order goes out of us. It goes Joey, Carrie, Kevin, me. Yeah, I need I need the numbers though. Uh, sixteen. 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 All right, and Arya. Twelve. Twelve and Drogon. Nine. 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 All right. Um. Well. Uh. Immediately after one of these goblins fires an arrow into your back, uh, it. Throws itself behind these one, two, three, four, five into the woods and is going to attempt to hide. Um, that's going to succeed. Oh, hold on. Uh, can and I just need to my dog real back. Should I keep going? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, he's got a small place. Oh, he, he's, eat some food. he's old anyway. He'd probably forget what you said, even if you did say it. Chips. 
Oh, Arya, uh, the uh, snapping sound came from up here. Okay. And you can see crouched deep in this thicket over here is a goblin. Another one. Oh, and Arya, since you noticed, actually, you get to go ahead and make a, you go get to go ahead and take a full turn. Okay, so, so I have a question. You said that yeah. we passed some bears, right? Uh, like a, a day or two ago. Oh, okay, never mind. Now, now hypothetically, if the bears were closer by, since I have animal handling, is it, like, a thing to say, like, that the, the bears could, like, attack them, or no? So, animal handling is not magic, it's a real-life skill. So um, it's sort of like something you could realistically do in real life is something you could do with animal handling. Um, okay. If you're trying to make beasts work with you, there are magical and racial abilities that can let you do that, which uh, you do actually get as a ranger, but I don't think you have access to them yet. Okay. Cool. So can I just, like, draw my longbow and Absolutely. attack back? All right, who are you going for? The goblin, right? There's only one? Well, there's one near you. There's two near me. Oh. <coughs> Which one shot Brennan in the first place? Uh, the two. Yeah, the two over there did. Well. I don't know. Brennan's already seen like a goner over there, so. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the one that's close to me. All right. That would be... Do you want the one that you spotted across the way, or? The one that was, like, to the right. Yeah. All right. Um, this one is under, it's going to have, a, it's going to be harder to hit, because it's under cover. Okay. Um, but, yeah, go for it. It's going to have, uh, basically, you're shooting at a minus two penalty. Okay. So, if I move over to my right, will that help? Um, not or really. Forward. Okay. All the way, all the way in Behind here. the rock. All right, sure. Okay. So you can go one, two, three, four, five. I'm back, sorry. All right. Um, and, yeah, Arya, you've actually got a much better line of sight here. Um, okay. I would say, given that it's not stealthing very well, you can get a direct shot on him, so no cover. Okay. So now I click the button, right? Which one do I click? Longbow. Oof. What you got? Nine and fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you fire off this arrow, and the goblin whips around and just barely brings its shield up in time as the arrow sinks into it. You are one off from hitting. Um, uh, you want to do anything else? I so, I since I'm still learning, what can I do? Um, so you've used your action. You've used all but one square of your movement. So uh, then you've got a bonus action, which I don't believe you can do anything with yet, uh, okay. and a free action. So if you want to like crouch down behind this rock and get yeah, I was gonna say like remove myself. Now should I go to the right instead of to the left since there's some people that way? Um, it's or is that too far? Uh, I'd say you can you can make it. It's it's close enough. Let's go to the right. All right, respect it. Smart thinking. All right, so that is the surprise round over. Um. This goblin here, uh, it manages to hide itself again, and it's going to shoot one more arrow, this time at the warlock. Um, Flamio, uh, an arrow comes out of the forest. That's a 19 to hit. Oh. Uh, what do I hit? Uh, what's your AC? Um, 14. Okay, so yeah, 19 beats that. Um, it hits you for uh, 5 points of piercing damage. Uh. Your arm. Um, and the goblin is going to try to hide again. Oh, yeah. And vanishes into the underbrush. You guys know approximately where they are. You just can't see them at the moment. Um, all right. Soen, you're up. And Arya, you're on deck. Okay. Uh, when do I get to go? I'll let you know. I... I'm going to charge directly into where those arrows came from. Over here? Yes. I have to ask you a question! Oh, no. <laughs> What's your movement speed, Son? Uh, 
30. Probably 30. Yeah. 30. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, so you can take a full action to dash if you would like to, but this is as far yeah. as you can get with your 30 feet. I mean, I'm not going to be able to attack him this round anyway. Yeah, I'll dash. Six. There you go. <laughs> He's whispering into his ear. <laughs> yeah, I like my turn. All right, Arya, you're up, and Drogon, you're on deck. Okay. Um. So I guess I should just take a second shot then. At the goblin in the trees. Makes sense. Okay. So. I don't really need to get close, right? I can just no, hop back no. up on that rock. Yeah, you totally can. You don't even need to stand up. Um, you can just shoot straight through this fern. Okay. So, longbow. And the longbow has crazy range, just FYI. Okay. So I got 15 and 15 that time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to hit. Go ahead and roll some damage. Damage. And that is... So click on the word longbow in the chat. Oh, that's right. That's right. Eleven. Yeah. So Arya, you fire off the first arrow uh, and duck behind the rock. The it sticks into the goblin's shield and it it sort of like mutters curses in goblin. Uh, and you wait and you listen and you hear it sort of straighten up and get ready to reposition and you hop back up and fire off an arrow extremely fast and it goes straight through and you hear a little squawk and a slow. Thump as the goblin falls to the ground, uh, probably very dead. Very dead. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, who's up? Drogon. I've got baby. Oh god. Where am I? <laughs> Where do I see my movement speed? Next to uh, Where it says speed. At the top middle. Next to your initiative, Kevin. Oh, I got 30. Yep. So where can I go? Uh, I mean, you can go anywhere, as long as it's within 30 feet. You could go far as far as me if you dash, or half as far if you don't dash. But if I, I dash, wouldn't dash I because you're a warlock. Yeah, yeah okay. I, would, I wouldn't dash. Okay. Oh. Can I hit any of the uh, goblins? How far range is my, uh, what's it called? Your Elder's Blast? <coughs> yeah. Uh, 120 feet, so like, really far. Oh, lit. Okay. I want to go to the top of the rocks, um, like, straight in front of me. Like, it looks like five blocks. Yeah, keep going. Up. Up, up, up. Yeah, right there. And then, um, that goblin that's sitting right in front of Joey. Or, uh, what's his name? Shoot. The old dude. Soen. Yeah, Soen. I have a clear shot to him. Now I'm going <laughs> to use Elder's Blast. Go for it. Roll the hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 23 and 15. Woo. Yeah, it's going to hit. Roll some damage. <laughs> God, bro. Are you <laughs> kidding me? For two. <laughs> and, yeah, so you uh, throw out your palm. You guys hear a little... As a jet of teal energy shoots out, it's not a very big one this morning. Um, it hits the goblin square in the chest and just sort of like, ah, and looks back up, and then uh, pulls out a, a couple of knives and starts like screaming. Um, okay, but, but but as I shoot the energy blast, right? Uh -huh. I want to I shoot it off and then I want to dive off the rocks into the that that orange tree to my right, so he doesn't know where exactly it came from. Like, he knows the general direction, but he doesn't ever see me. Okay, so you you used your action to attack. Um, it's oh, an I action to hide as well. Uh, Dang but it. You can, okay. get, you can get, like, undercover. Okay, I'll just get undercover. Under right, the rock. Yeah, cover is always a good idea. We'll, we'll give it to you. Um, that's about as far as you can get. But, yeah, so you dive right. into the brush. Perfect. Um, Flamio, that's you. So um, this goblin here is going to turn to the old man next to him. Um, oh, bring it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Make a little 
slashing attack. Uh, what's your AC? Does a 20 hit? 18. Uh, 20 hit, yeah. All right. Um, it, it slashes out with its scimitar. Uh, that's going to be eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Um, it just slices up across your, your uh, hip. Uh, and it's going to bonus action disengage and start running from you. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, you would, except it, it took that bonus action to disengage, which is a goblin racial trait. Ah, oh, lame. Yeah, so it, it slashes at you and then sort of dances back out of the way before you can get a shot off. Wow, um, what a little punk. Goose, you're up. All right. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm over by that tree after just recently zipping up, take two arrows to the side, and I go, bloody hell, what the fuck was that? And then uh, I take out the wine that I have, and I just pour a little bit onto the wound to clean it. And I go, no okay. dirt from those arrows is getting in my wound. And I <laughs> book it over to where um, Flamio is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to go over towards the rocks. I want to get into cover. You can use my uh, dash if you want to. Whatever gets me there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, we'll give it to you. Close enough. Bet. And once I get here, I go, Holy shit, did you see that, Flamio? Yeah, yes, I saw it. What is... Jerry, what? Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, awesome. I mean... Armor. I was like, awesome, I got shot in the side, what the hell do you mean? <laughs> um, Arya, uh, at this point, a, well, are you undercover? Did you get back undercover after you took your shot? Um, we didn't move me after I took my shot. Right, but all you did was stand up, so you could have easily crouched down again. Okay, yeah, then I totally crouched down again. Alright, cool, yeah. you totally crouched down. Um, <laughs> a goblin runs up and is gonna take a shot. Hmm, maybe you have an angle on that. That might be interrupted. Yeah, I'm using I'm using him as a meat shield. Ooh, maybe not. No. Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna shoot uh, arrow at our boy Drogon. And Drogon, since you are behind these trees, you get a plus two bonus to your AC. Um, yes, sixteen, baby. All right. Yeah. So the arrow uh, gets loosed and flies towards you, um, and glances off the brush and just scatters into the wall. Nice. Um, and this guy is going to try to hide again. Oh, yeah. And he is gone as fast as he came. All right. Uh, so, and you're on deck as this goblin here um, pops up out of the brush and fires an arrow straight at your face. Um, that is a 20. Oof. Good lord. All right. I'm probably unconscious. Oh, man. Uh, How well, the heck did they roll two 20s? That was pretty good. That's a three damage oh uh, okay i'm alive Whew. okay yeah it rolled a one <laughs> on the damage dice okay it's your turn all right uh i'm gonna use lay on hands on myself all right go for it uh how do i what is the roll you don't have to uh, roll for it it just happens oh uh, okay uh, which is uh hit points equal to uh so i'll just restore five all right you're doing the full thing yeah i'll do the full thing so that's six now. And since I can't attack him anymore, I will uh, move um, I'll move behind the tree so that there's the tree in between me and him. I like it. All take right. cover behind it. Alright, so yeah, you take cover behind the tree. Um, is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Alright, sounds good. Um, Arya, you are up. Drogon, you're on deck. Is it possible to have a flaming arrow? Uh, it is. If you, so that's something like in your off time. We could say actually, uh, if you wanted to, that while you're riding the wagon, you, you know, could prepare something along those lines. Okay. Um. And hypothetically, I could shoot that arrow into, like, a tree and, like, smoke him out of his hiding or something. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it's sort of like, it's all sort of like real life. This is a pretty wet climate. So, um, no. 
Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to light a tree on fire with a single point of an arrow. Sad. All right. Um, how far can I move? Only to seven or whatever. Uh, yeah, six squares. Also, sorry, this is your. We'll call this your wagon. Beautiful. A wagon looks like a stack of boxes. It sure does. You know, that's funny a, enough. Oh, that's a big wagon. Yeah, boy. All right. Sorry, Arya. What are you doing? So I'm over behind that rock, and the goblin is like ways away, right? There's no one is out of range. It's just a question of what Actually, I'm not gonna lie, Fifa. I completely I forgot I could do this. I think you've got 80. 100 percent completely forgot I could do that. Okay. Honestly, that, real talk. Carrie's character carries us through all of these fights. We've had two fights so far. This being the second one, she okay, carries. Okay. Figure out if he's talking through this or not. Um, oh, you've got 150 feet of range with your longbow, so yeah, you okay. can. Uh, so I can go after him then. Yes, you can. If you can, if you can get a set. There's uh, a. Yeah. These two are both in field up here. For real though, exactly it's crazy. Is, but you could try to find <coughs> okay, am I allowed to take two shots? Uh, just one. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't like do a double arrow, man. Okay. <laughs> She's out here carrying the team, asking if she can carry even more. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Let's see. So I'll just do the longbow then thing again, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, I need to get myself some poison arrows or something. Alright, so it's an 814, and we just take No way it eight hits. Right? Which is not a good... Uh, no, so that's only if you have advantage. Um, without advantage, you're just taking the first number. Okay, so eight. Yeah, so you, you fire an arrow off, and it um, flies just pretty wide. Uh, it doesn't quite hit this goblin over here. Do you want to move? Yeah. Um, can I make it in front of like those trees and rocks that's closer to them? These ones or these? No, ones? no farther. Uh, yeah, across the path. Um, no chance. It'd be and close. Crouch. Two, three, four. So maybe what you can do is hide behind these temporarily as a as a stop. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you crouch down behind these. Um, that is about your turn. Uh, Drogon, you're up. Let's go, baby. All right. <clears throat> so, we got that one goblin right there that I can see in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. And there's another one back here, you know. Back there, okay. Uh, is there any moves I can do that give me an advantage on damage or when I attack? Um, no, not currently. So, melee fighters have a way to do it. Where if they're on opposite sides of a uh, creature, they get advantage. Um, okay. So if if these two goblins were on either side of Joey, and then they would both have advantage on melee attacks. Okay. Um, but I but, don't get anything for like sight line or height. Uh no, if you have a really good height advantage, I might give you a bonus. But okay, but other than that, no. Okay. Yeah. I want to make. Where's the other zombie? Or, not zombie. Uh, troll mm -hmm. on the right. <laughs> zombie. Uh, goblin. No goblin, whatever. Jeez. Around this year. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, I want to peek my head up and shoot another, uh, uh, da, 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 da. Eldridge Blast? Yeah, Eldridge Blast to that same uh, goblin that I hit before, so the first, the closest one. Alright, okay. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and uh, hit. So I hit a 21. Oh yeah, that hit. Oof. Okay, and the damage <coughs> is a 7. God dang. Yeah, dude. Uh, so you hop up into the air and throw another beam out. Uh, it streaks past and um, so, and you smell something a little metallic and you glance around the side and this goblin's head has just been blown clean off. Uh, Let's go! Oh. Oh, wait, I gained health from that, right? I can yeah, you health. do. Yes. You get, uh, how many? Wait, have I been hit? No. No. Hit? no. You haven't been hit. I thought I was hit. I've, I've been hit. Joey's, Joey's been hit. Can I give that health to <coughs> Brennan? Oh. You cannot. Dang it. Darn. Okay, sorry, Brennan. That's uh, alright. Alright, um, and then also... Can I, after shooting, can I move? 
Yeah. No. Yep. Okay. You get movement and an action and bonus action. So shooting is an action. Shooting is an action. What's a bonus action? Um, not many things are bonus actions at this level. Okay. Like, um, if you lay down, that's a bonus action. Oh, uh, okay. But standing back up takes half of your movement, just a heads up. Right. Okay, and I'm crouched. Okay. Uh... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stay here. Actually, right. I want to move, I want to move back behind the wagon. All right, you can get in the wagon, too, if you want. Oh, get me in that wagon. All right. One, two, and then... That's, we'll call that in the wagon. So you're undercover, you can only see, uh, straight ahead, basically. Okay. Lit. All right. Uh, who's up next? That was so it's only one goblin left, right? Uh, there... There's, uh, there's one on each side, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. There's there's one left. Oh, here. I thought we killed one. One just shot an arrow at you. From over here. Um, shoot. All right. Uh, that was Drogon. So, speak of the devil. Um, this goblin is going to pop back out, run forward. On... Whoa. Like Drogon, that. you were my body He's armor. He's on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh one. no! I thought it was only the one on the left. Oh no! <laughs> Take a shot. Uh, Brennan, even or odd? Uh, odd. All right, and uh, take a shot at uh, Goosh. Josh, shit. <laughs> I can oh, take it. Somebody that little boy. Uh, <laughs> Goosh, that's a 10 to hit. Ooh, 16. Get out of here. All right, yeah, you, it uh, glances off your armor. Easy money. Uh, this goblin oh. is going to try to hide again. Uh, so he's hidden to everyone but Arya knows, uh, does not know where this guy is. But Arya, you can see him. Uh, speaking of which, oh wait, no, not speaking of which, sorry, I lied. Um, Goosh, it's your turn. Okay, I have a question. Yes. I have, I have some hand axes, and those are obviously ideal for throwing, right? Okay. I think you can. I if I click this, does it tell me what it does? No, it just rolls uh, it. it. Have a range on it. Well, okay, so you can throw it twenty feet, which is four squares, at a regular roll. If you want to go for sixty feet, you can throw it, but it'll be a disadvantage. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Given those numbers, though, we can just retroactively take it since oh, you know we're still figuring things. Bet. Out. Uh, well, I don't even know if I can get close enough to the one goblin on the right. Is that who you're going for? Yeah, I would yell for Arya to give me a shout out as to where he is, though. All right. I mean, oh, I see. Okay. So you don't have to get to here, which isn't actually that. I don't think that's the one he's throwing for. I think oh, I can, I right can side. throw it for that one. Whichever one is honestly, whichever one I can move into range to hit would be better. Yeah. So if you want to here, uh, although if I'm there, could I technically hit both? Uh. No, you can only so to throw it is an action. So you can only throw one. Oh no, no, I meant. I'm sorry. If I'm there, can I see both goblins? Oh, I get you. Um, so it would be a bit of a risk to try to hit the other one, since you don't actually know where it is. Okay. I could pull it out. I'll just go for the one that's over by Sewin. I'll go for the. Uh, I'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Right. Two, three, four, five. Rexy, I don't yeah. have any water. I gotta yeah, go, go get and water. Bring it. So that's it. Oh, wait, we'll take that previous roll. So, yeah, you okay. run out there and just, boom, 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 the axe goes flying out and clocks him in the chest. What's I go, your, take uh, that, you uh, bastard. And then, boop, six. All right, yeah, you hit him in the chest, and uh, one of his arms just almost comes off all the way. Uh, the goblin falls back and is just screeching wildly. Uh, it's almost, almost down. Uh... Can I, uh, I don't know if I have, I don't know if it's bonus action or whatever. Can I take one step to the left in an attempt to hide behind that tree, kind of? Uh, Although I guess it wouldn't quite, never mind. You can't hide, but you can just take cover, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, it. yeah. All right, yeah. So we'll just retroactively say that your movement was this way. Because yes. that's not going to cost or anything. And then you can step out from behind the tree, sling the axe, and then go back in. Bet. All right, this goblin is going to uh, 
Similarly, step one, two to the oh, right. God. And we'll make it three, just so we can get a honest sight line. We would be on the ground and take a shot. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I dropped the dice. Ooh, nah. That is a natural 20. Ooh. All right, boys and girl, let's hope for nothing higher than a four. You take 10 points of damage as oh, an arrow comes okay. streaking out of the woods and hits you <laughs> square in the throat. Dang. So hang on, right before that happens, I turn to So and I go, did you see that? I hit the bastard right in the arm. And then he and then he immediately does that. <laughs> and I just fall to the ground, completely knocked out. Blood's coming out of me. So and do you have a response to, to what just happened? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm at negative six, so I'm definitely knocked out. All right. Um, so this one over here. No, for. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, even odd. Uh, yeah, odd. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, it fires an arrow at Soen. Uh, Soen, is 16 hit your AC? It does not. All right, the arrow skates off your shield. Um, and this goblin is going to try to hide again. Um, yeah, he's hidden. He ducks okay. back. He's over here. Uh, Soen, you're up. All right, All right I'm going to walk up to the arrow or the, the goblin that just shot an arrow into Brennan's face. Okay. Uh, he's on the ground, sorry. There we go. Can I get there in 30? I think I can. Yeah, I think you can. Three, four. Yep. You are there. All right. And I am going to say, someone should teach you some manners. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do my battle axe. Uh, 13. Uh, that is going to miss i'm sorry oh, dang yeah you're not having much luck right now no all right um aria you're up okay so can i see the goblin that's on the other side of the map this guy or this one the one on the right um you cannot so the way this works is you can take an action to try and find him, in which okay. case you won't be able to take an action to attack, or you can hold your action for free um, and draw an arrow and wait until you see him, and then <laughs> fire. So the way that held actions work is you dictate your action. You have to move during your turn, but then uh, you can set any condition. So it'd be like, oh, if something sneezes, then I cast a spell, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. So... Can I say that I will stand in the middle of the path, and as soon as I see one of the goblins come out, I shoot? Absolutely. Um, and then, can I also say that after I shoot, I'm going back behind the bush? Uh, so, it's kind of weird, but your movement has to be spent on your turn. The only thing you can hold is an action. Okay. okay. Do you want to stay behind the bush? Uh, I guess I should probably stay behind the bush, since it okay. doesn't really... Okay. We can say that, that you that you stand up and wait, and then you know after you take your shot, you can duck back down. You're not really moving. I know that's kind of playing with the rules, but I don't I don't particularly mind. Okay. All right, cool. So yeah, you stand up and draw an arrow and wait. Um, up next is Drogon. All right. <clears throat> so where's this? Uh, where are the two goblins? We got one on the there left. One All here, over there. And one is hidden somewhere in this. In that area. Okay. You can also hold an axe if you want. <laughs> so, so, so since I was the wagon driver, right? I I'm not allowed to move the wagon up, am I? You can. I can. Yeah. Sweet. All right. I want to. How far can I move the wagon? Like, does that count as my movement? Like, can I only move it? Um, it would be your action. So you're like. Oh, uh, that'd be my action. I can't yeah, attack yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And I can't heal or do anything for Brennan since he's like passed out in the bushes in front of me, right? You could give him a heal if you can get there. I, um, can I give him a what? 
healing potion if you can get there. A healing potion. Oh, he's up there. I forgot. I thought he was in the bushes. You should throw oh. it on me. Yeah. Hit me, hit me square Brady. in the head with the healing potion. <laughs> But if it doesn't break, you'll just have thrown a bottle at my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to drink them. No. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I can I do some sort of roll to see how I passed out? Whether I passed out facing up with my mouth open or passed out facing down with my mouth open? Sure. Roll. Hey, heck yeah. Roll a d20. If it's over over 10, then uh, you land it face up. Uh, what do I just slash roll d20? Something like that? Okay. Nope. Face down. All right. All right. Face down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arrow sticking out the side of your neck. <laughs> well, like, they can't. They can, so he's just passed out. And after every like time it's his turn, he has to roll that. Uh, death saving throw. That yeah. Death saving Okay. So you have at least three rounds, or at least, yeah, at least three rounds. After three, three rounds, rounds before everything could goes badly, he could die. Or okay. if someone comes up and starts beating his unconscious body. Okay. Like I that take... old man who doesn't know who I am. I want to use my action <laughs> and take the wagon. And can you look more north, straight? Yeah, I want to take it through the through the gulch thing. Okay. Just keep going and get on the other side of these uh, goblins. The, the wagon only goes thirty feet. Which okay. is how far Where's you move, that? and there's dead horses here. I don't have any dead horse minis, so that's that's it. Okay, uh, take me to the dead horses, and I'm still hiding you inside can't the get wagon. That far off, man. One, two, uh, yeah, okay, three, four. All right, how four. far can I get? That's as far as you can get with all the boxes. Right there. Yeah. Well, each that's turn is third, Each turn is a second, Kevin. Six seconds, but yeah, it's six like, seconds. Yeah, so you, I mean, think about how far you can go in six seconds. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all so right, give me a, like, huh? does, does getting out of the wagon cost anything? Nope. That, that's, okay. Uh, I want to yeet out of the wagon as far up to the goblin on the left. All on right. the left? Are Wait, can't I, can I see him? Can something? I see him? Like, when can I see him? Where's you he at? I can see him from here. Yeah, if you just go to the front of the wagon, you could shoot him from here. Okay, so I want to stay. In, yeah, I want to stay in the wagon. Can I poke my head out? Can yeah. You see him? Okay, yeah, I want to yeah, do yeah. that. I want to stick my head out and go use a uh, another blast. So let All me right. Pull that up. Eldred's blast on that one goblin that's almost dead. Bam for fifteen. Yeah, that just hits. Yes. Oh, and then damage, 10. Ten. Oh. Yeah, nice. so, so and as you're rearing back to, to strike one more <sighs> I time. I forgot I can um, mute and talk. This head also detonates as a teal beam just passes right through it and, and uh, explodes it. Sheesh, <gasps> I'm a beast. Oh, man. And then I, I yell up to Goosh. I say, you see that? Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so at this point, uh, this goblin comes back out. Arya, you've been waiting for this moment. Go ahead and make your attack. As soon as it shows up, you release that arrow. Bam. There it is. Her and Brennan are muted. They might not be here. No, we're here. Sorry, I was talking to her. I'm sorry. Hey, better Jeez, be sorry. Better. She's what are we attacking. Doing? Uh, so your action was held, and this goblin just showed back up. So right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So longbow, right? Yeah, go for it. Oh! Wow. God dang. Yeah, roll some damage. Bruh. Oh, man. Yeah, so uh, two for two, you fire this arrow and just take it, uh, hit it right through the head. and it. it I told y'all, carry carries. Also I said this. Uh, oh, I said this. Goodness. She does this. So you guys uh, stop for a second. Oh, goosh. Uh, go ahead and make a death saving throw for me. Uh, sure thing, Dad. Fifteen. That's a success. All right, Dad. Uh, who? Anyone doing anything? <laughs> what is that? Why would we do something? Uh, so you wait for a second. You can hear the rattling breaths coming out of Goosh's uh, arrow-pierced throat. <laughs> and someone goes, "I can kiss him to Am bring I him back." Am I able to help him? Yeah, you can give him a healing potion. I uh, I guess so. 
Oh, sweet. I think he's kind of worth it, maybe. Well, I mean, if as you think about what I've done this fight, I've, 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 I've peed. Uh, I threw an axe at someone, died face down with a mouthful of dirt. Yes. Now, at the same time that she's walking over, I want to walk over and attempt to put him out of his misery with my axe. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I pull out my dagger and point it at, um... Plainio. Or, or is this Plainio? What? No, <laughs> no, no, that's Soen. That's Soen. <laughs> just, just give me the potion. Just, just uh, 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 there's so much blood in my throat. So right, I don't know if I can give him the potion. You can just do it. As long, oh, okay. as, as, long as Soen has an embedded an axe in his brain. So I point my dagger at Soen and I say, wait a second. And then I give... Uh, yeah. Goosh. Oh, that's my name. The the po the potion. Oh god. All right, Goosh. And man. then I just take his wine bottle yeah. out of his um yeah. satchel or whatever <laughs> while he's uh <laughs> drinking it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you can reach down, pull the arrow out of the back of his neck, uh, <sighs> roll him over, and uh, still holding the dagger up at Soen, which Soen, you're just watching this happen. The oh, answer is yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, Arya, you grab the bottle and pull you, out the cork with your teeth. And, and then you pick the dirt out of my mouth real quick. Just and so feel around in his bag for the, the wine bottle and grab it. Fantastic. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, that healing potion. I believe we haven't done that yet, right? No, so we haven't done that So where do I yet. find that? So, uh... Healing potions might be in the roll 20, which we can update later. But for now, uh, it's a basic potion of healing. So that's going to be 2d4 plus 2 HP regained. So since it's your potion, you can go ahead and roll do slash R uh, 2d4 plus 2. Slash R 2d4 plus 2? Yep. I put a period in front of it. Oh, I didn't type it right. I haven't listened to like the vast majority of the music on here. Wow, Brennan, I you know got I'm really slow. Hell, <laughs> eight. All right. That... Yeah. So, so, just to be clear, don't... since I, I go to zero, you can't go below zero, right? Exactly. exactly. Okay. Sweet. 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 Okay. So I take eight back. Yep. Yes. That. Is that good? Is that good <sighs> Aria, you saved my life. Wait, what the hell? Sowen, what are you doing? Uh, I am a merciful god. <laughs> <laughs> I go, what what the hell happened? I, I threw an axe and then and then I was out. Okay. <laughs> I calmly I calmly strut out of the wagon, and I say, your boy just saved your life. That's what happened. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Why do I taste dirt? I just wanted to talk to them. <laughs> Wait, they're dead? We killed them? There's one yes. left, but she wouldn't let me kill him. <laughs> where, where is he? Uh, he's talking to me. Yeah, are you Sowen? Sowen, do you really think that I'm a goblin? Mm. Okay. Well, Arya, thank you for saving my life. At this point, I grab Goosh by the arm and pick him up and drag him towards oh, the wagon. Whoa, to oh, whoa, oh, hold on. <laughs> dwarves, dwarves, dwarves do not like to be manhandled and put me down. I, uh, I attempt to just break free from her arm, but continue right, to walk in the direction of the wagon. Make a contested uh, athletics check. So both of you roll athletics. Oh, shit. <laughs> Goosh, maybe it's the, the dirt that's in your mouth undoubtedly weakening your body or the fact that you just had an arrow in your throat, but Arya easily manhandles you and angles you over to the wagon. The whole time she's doing it, I'm like, put me down! No! No, I don't want to go where you want me to go! By the way, uh, each of you get 100 experience points on top of three more. Yes. So, 
Do you guys remember how much you had previously? Uh, we each no. got 300 at the end of the last one. So now we're at 400, except for uh, Soen. Well, I do guess. I only have 100. Soen, we can. What do you guys think? Should we bring him up with the rest of you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah bring him up. He's 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 yeah. clearly an experienced do adventurer. He's old as hell. Do I have to type that in anywhere? So yeah, and, at the top. Yeah. Uh, that you guys just made what? it to level two. So normally Ooh. we'd wait a, wait until a long rest, but if you guys wanted, you could do it now, or take a long rest now, or do whatever you want. So where do I change this info? Uh, at the top of the sheet, carry. See where it says race alignment and then experience points. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So type in there. How much do I have now? Four hundred. You have four hundred. Uh, yeah. Before we go to take a rest, I go, guys. You're not gonna believe this, but I do have to pee again. I'm and looking at the top. I don't see race, experience, all that junk. It's to the right of your name. Yeah, you do. What? Are you on you spells? absolutely do. Yeah, if you're on spells, oh, you I was looking for 300. I never put in my old stuff. There you go, 400. Uh, so I just walk over to a tree real quick, take a leak, and then I come back and I go, I'm down to sleep. I'm tired as hell. Okay. I want to run up to one of the goblins' bodies and start looting. All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make an investigation check. Who are you? Who are you looting here? I want to loot. Yeah, the one that fell off the top and into the gulch. What the fuck happened to that one? Oh, there he is. He's there. All right. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so you find um, these goblins also have a lot of gold. Uh, this one has a good. Well, actually, he only this one only has three gold pieces on him, but that's still a lot for a goblin. Um, you find the same sort of standard array of equipment. Uh, it's got a short bow, a scimitar, leather armor, and a shield. All of them are of like absolutely trash quality. Um, additionally, you see that. They also have the really sharp, pointy, filed teeth. Ugh. I want to attempt to oh, take God. the teeth again. <sighs> oh, boy. All right, make another medicine or nature check. Medicine. All right, medicine or survival, or... not nature. Ah. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do survival. 11. Um. Yeah, it goes a little better this time. You sort of, like hack and slash and it's not like you get any teeth out super clean because you don't really have any like pliers or anything he's practicing um but yeah you get like three or four super pointy really nasty goblin teeth they've still got like nerves and, and a bit of like gum attached nice okay and i want to take the rest of the head the toothless head oh, and God. i want to yeet it into the air and back towards the wagon. All, all right then. Um, <laughs> yeah, you hurl the head back towards the wagon. Um, Goose, you see a uh, toothless goblin head that's been heavily mutilated come flying in your direction, just <laughs> land on the road. Yeah, I go, oh, I'm going to be sick. And I run towards where Flamio is just to get away from the head. Okay. Uh, and as I'm running in that direction, I see the horses' bodies, and I go, "Oh, let me go take a look at that." And then I head over towards the the dead horses, and I just uh, I just kind of want to look around, see what they got going on. Absolutely, make an investigation check. Sure thing, Dad. While he's doing that, I want to walk up behind him. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and you know that picture of like Joe Biden, like. From like when he he sneaks up behind people and he he like hugging them. I want to do that and oh, I want to go. God. We'll all be with God soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, where'd you get on your investigation? Check I got today? a seventeen. Okay, so you're immediately engrossed in these horses. You can see they've been dead about a day. It's clear that the arrows killed them. Um, you're sort of like you see a, a saddle bag that's empty and you're about to reach down and pick up an empty map case when these two armored bloody arms encircle around your neck oh god you hear this old man voice no you'll be with god soon 
<laughs> and then as that's happening, I want to oh, walk up no. behind Snowin. <laughs> oh, I go, I put my hand on his shoulder, and I go, "What's going on, old man?" Um, Aria, you want in on this, or? I really don't. That's fair. No, that's fair. Um, okay, so he puts his arms around me, and as I see the blood, I go, "Oh dear Lord." And then I uh, I do like a like a, a quick little dodge to get out of the the grip and I turn around to him and I look at him and I go uh, are we gonna roll for that no nope, wait oh, a minute God we'll God that. damn it <laughs> sixteen ah! bet let's go I turn around and look at him and I go I swear to God I'll help you get to the Lord faster you and then me of somebody I know is it me. No, I don't remember. Oh, we'll try anyway. Listen here. Look, just let me investigate these horses some more. Can I go back to looking at the satchel? Yeah, totally. Um, some, it's always a gamble when you're picking music on here. Um, yeah, so you you pick up the, the satchel and are poking around. Everything has been taken out of here. Um you also see this empty scroll case or map case and as you pick it up shake it it's empty inside uh you look at the top and it's embossed with a gr gr stands for the uh, grand republic from star wars gordon ramsay ah that too where's the fucking lamb sauce <laughs> um, okay, so I turned everyone else and I yell enough so that Arya can hear us and I go, this is all I found here. It says GR. You don't need to yell. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm not yelling for you, so, so and I'm yelling for Arya. the goblins killed the, the horses, right? Yes, but yeah. what's strange is that there's so, no human bodies or, or any other bodies besides the horses. Can we check the other goblins for any other clues? Not a bad idea. Sure. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, who are you investigating? There's a body to the left, right? And those. There's two somewhere. to the left, and then one up on that rock still. Yeah. Two here. Right, so I want to go to those two on the left. All right. Um. Just so you guys know, if you have, if someone assists you, then you can get advantage, or you can. Oh, uh, I'll go over and assist. All right. Um. So, uh, would you like to assist by giving her advantage, or assist by also making the investigation check? What's your investigation, Arya? I can tell you guys um, right now that Brendan's got the highest, followed by Kevin, and then Carrie, and then Joey. Okay, I'll do. I'll so we'll assist, and I'll I'll do the investigation. Yeah. So you assist him, Arya, to give okay. him a boost. So what I do to assist? I uh, think you just. Say that you are. Yeah. So okay. in, in in game, what that would be is like you would sort of you know, point out spots that he might have missed or, you know, just it, like in real life if two people were searching. So I click it, right? right? Yeah. And you, this is with advantage. 22. Ooh, oh my gosh. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you find this guy has um, a whopping seven gold pieces on him. Oh. Um, you notice with your 22, you know, same, same full getup, uh, they all have you don't even have to look for it. You guys get four, the, four of those uh, that short bow, scimitar, leather armor, and shield. Um, so you can go ahead and put that in your inventory if you would like to. The gold coins you notice um, are definitely of dwarven make. Uh, more specifically, <gasps> Fandolin. Um, ah, that's not me. You, oh, the Fabadins. <laughs> you also notice. Um, as you're sort of like searching around, uh, he's wearing these uh, sort of like really wide, um, what look like mining pants that look like they probably came from a dwarf. And as you and Arya sort of like stretch out the pants a bit and like look at them a little closer, you're like, oh, shoot. This is definitely, this is definitely what Gundren was wearing yesterday. Uh, oh, oh shit, he's the one who gave us the quest. Oh shit. Didn't he have a um uh somebody riding with him or He did, yes. Mm. 
Okay, so I'll I'll go up to the other goblin up well, on that did one. Did we search both goblins yet, or just one? Well. All right, so let's search the other one. Goosh. Well, I'm not with you. We could do ours at the same time, but it's okay. Do your thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, and Carrie, if you feel like Arya would rather just search it herself, if that makes sense in character, you can totally roll if you want to. It's only a difference of one between you guys. So no, while okay. this is happening, I would like to climb the nearest tree. <laughs> And, okay, and I don't, I don't want to assist in the next investigation. So Arya is gonna do that one on her own. You're ditching me, Fulvio. Yeah, yeah, cause, cause we just found out that that guy died, right? Oh, okay. you're out. Oh, you're too chicken. So, no, no, no. So then I gotta walk back. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm really saddened, and so I walk back to Goosh, and to inform him that his uncle died. Oh God damn it! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so go ahead, Kevin, do it. Gush. Yeah, what's up, Flamio? Uh, so me and Oreo, right? We're like investigating that dead. Wait, that you dead. and you and Oreo? Who? What? Yeah, so me and me and Oreo, right? Like you know, Game of Thrones, Arya. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. So we're checking out this investigation, and uh, or we're doing an investigation on these dead uh goblin bodies, right? And uh, right. <sighs> Your uncle's dead, man. You, what? Wait a minute, wait. Before Brennan has a chance to respond, someone stops attempting to climb the tree, oh, runs Jesus. down, and grabs him by the shoulders and stares into his eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can I make my investigation so, check? Yeah, 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 you just roll it. Uh, so while, oh. while, all right, so I'm about to answer um, Flamio. I go, wait, what? And then uh, someone grabs me by the shoulders and stares into my soul. And I go, hold on, Flamio. Wait, Soen, are you trying to tell me something? And then I look deeper into his eyes and I go, Soen, I'm not going to do that right here. Not right now. And then I, I brush, I, I, I like brush his hands off of me and turn back to Flamio. No. Athletics trust uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> this, uh, this freak. Anyway, <laughs> brush him off and turn back to Flamio. And I go, what do you mean my uncle's dead? You, you don't even know who he is. Your uncle from, from how many days ago was it? Three? Yeah. Three days ago who, who gave us this quest. Are you gold. are you talking about the dude that gave us this quest? God damn, Flamio, that is not yes. my uncle. Your uncle. But that he's is dead. that is bad news that he's dead. That means that means we won't get paid. Um, Gundren, you do know from your earlier investigation among the horses. Obviously, no human or dwarf bodies there, and it doesn't particularly look like there were, you know. Oh my god, Goose! Your uncle's running around in the nude! Oh, Evey. Let me just look at this goblin yep. real quick. Soen's just gonna mutter t the word uncle to himself over and over. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I want to begin sign languaging to Soen. Oh, Jesus. It's important to his character arc that he has this moment. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna continue to investigate this, uh, this goblin. Yeah. Within 18, um, you find a similar thing. This one, it looks like got Gundren's shirt. Um, you okay. also find uh, an additional five gold pieces. Um, and as you sort of rifle through the satchel uh, and in the quiver, you see a little green vial. Um, or it's a glass vial filled with this like very, very uh, white or clear green liquid. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> I take the liquid out, but I, d I don't tell anyone in the group about it. I just kind of keep it in my pocket for now. Sure, sure. Um, if you want to, you can make a... Hmm. You can make a... Do you have any proficiencies in alchemy or brewing? Uh, no. Do you have brewing? Uh oh! I have brewer supplies. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah. Uh, make a. This would be intelligence uh, plus your proficiency bonus. So 
go ahead and roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier, which is two, and your proficiency bonus, which is six. So okay. roll one d20 and add four. Oh, not good. <laughs> so five, not good. I have no idea what this is. Okay, nice, nice, nice. It might taste good. Ooh. Uh, but also, it did come out of a goblin's pouch, so. This is true. I, uh, <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I want Aria, to. Real quick, Arya, since you were doing your investigation, um, what's your passive? Investigation so uh, you start rifling through this goblin's uh, pouches as well. You find the, the usual assortment of weapons and armor and an additional four gold pieces. Now, do I add that to my gold on my yeah. sheet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And these all have the same filed down teeth. Um, additionally, Arya, as you are over here... Um, you do glance off to the left and notice there's, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a bush path. Um, and as you look a little bit further back, you see it opens up into a small road that looks like it's just been trodden regularly. Um, mm -hmm. Very likely the road that the goblins took to get here to their ambush site. Interesting. I want to, so, so Goosh went and investigated the uh i don't keep want to call them zombies bro the uh goblins right because uh -huh. i told him his uncle was dead so i walk over him and i'm like uh to check on him see how he is and he's he's acting a little strange like i can tell something's up so i want to use make i want to roll insight. my make an insight check kevin <laughs> Ah, oh, that's, that's an insight! Dang you it! You can't just blur the big bake up is. something about another thought... character. <laughs> ah! What about... Dang it. Alright, come on, baby. 16! No oh freaking gosh. way, dude. Alright! <laughs> Sorry, um, make the insight. So, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So with the 16, you can tell the way that Goosh is acting is doesn't line up with the fact that his uncle just died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. That's so, awesome. So then, so then I want to roll sleight of hand and get that get that liquid out of him. You don't see the liquid, you I freak. Know. I know you got the You don't know that. You just know I'm acting I'm weird. Inside. I know I know you're acting weird and I think you found something on the body. So then I'm ask me about it. Well, you got no, it. That's what sleight well, of hand is. Kevin, Kevin that's that's meta gaming. So like that's something that you, Kevin, know, but you, Drogon, has no reason to think that that is even remotely a possibility. You just know you that I'm acting weird. But you just know I'm you acting know. weird, but you think it's because of my dead uncle. Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, right, I'll bring about, it back. I'll share it with the group can later. I roll deception oh, and it's Drogon, you were watching uh, Goosh as he searched the goblin, right? Yeah. All right, Goosh, I'm going to need I, you to make Wait, no, I back. thought he was looking at Soen. He was signing Soen. Oh, uh, shoot, I was. Oh, shoot, you're right. Yeah, no. I, I want to look at, at Flamio and just mutter the word metagaming. No <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> metagaming. All right. Uh, I turn to the group and I go, okay, listen, listen. There's a strong chance the guy that's supposed to pay us is dead. However, we should get these goods to the city. Now, if he is dead, and we get the goods to the city, we can just take the goods as our payment. But if he's alive, that's where he'll be to meet us. At this point, I come over and tell them about the road I found in the bushes. To see if they think we should investigate at all, or just get out of there fast. I got the goods. I say we take the wagon and investigate. <laughs> With the okay. wagon. With Let's the wagon. Take the wagon so, off the road. Yeah. While the, this this uh wagon, yeah, it's like you couldn't get it over there, but it would be ah. easy, it would be an easy thing to secure it. It's like designed for that, so that you can leave it at night. Um, additionally, there's places where you can pull it off and hide it in the woods. It just <clears> is not very feasible. Additionally, the trail that Arya found isn't wide enough to accommodate the wagon. Does anyone have a bike lock? Uh, e what? 
did you? Uh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, I'm okay with securing the wagon and checking out the trail. Agreed. Uh, are you? Sure. All right, let's do it. I move over to the wagon, and I get into uh, to basically steer it off into the woods a little bit, just to kind of get it off the main path. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me kill these guys. Um, kill Kevin's character while you're at it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy enough to do. Um, so, two things I want to make you guys aware of. Um, if you want to, you can roll a survival check on this goblin trail. Uh, so this is assuming you've secured the wagon. Um, number one, you can make a survival check on this goblin trail to see if you can like glean any details. For instance, how many goblins came uh, come through here? You know, how regularly? Uh, when was the last time someone was visited? Did anyone get dragged dragged this way? These are all things that you can fig- try to figure out, uh, or you know, anything similar to that. Uh, all right. Can- Does anyone have good survival? Um. Mine is a negative two. one. So. I have four. All right, so Ooh. Aria should check it out. <laughs> Aria. Check. So Aria, can I point out, slash carry, uh, uh-huh. you have a relevant feature. So that's in the bottom right of the main screen. Um, you have a relevant class feature here that would help you out. Is that in, like, the big column thing? Yeah. It is, yeah. So you chose forest as your favorite terrain. Yeah. Um, when you make an intelligence check, I'll click it so that, oh, sorry, put it into the chat. Um, so when you make an intelligence or wisdom check related to your favorite terrain, your proficiency bonus is doubled if you're using a skill that you're proficient in. Um, so yeah, you get to add an additional two onto your check that you're making here because you're making a survival check, which is based off of wisdom. Okay. And also, you guys can feel free to assist her to give her advantage if you want. I'll sit, uh, uh, wait, do we already have the else? wagon secured? Like, is that all done? Yeah, yeah, we can say that that's easy enough to do. <clears throat> okay. Uh, can we all assist, or is it more like a one assist per... Yeah, so just because it would break the game, um, they limit it at one person assisting and two people trying the same uh, same task twice. Does it matter what the assisting person's survival? No. no okay. All okay. Right, so one of us will assist. Ooh. Or does it not matter? I don't think it matters who assists yeah, you. Matter. One of us does. Okay, here I go. Okay. Okay, she didn't need it. Wow. Yeah. Um, and that's actually a 25, right? I guess. Yeah, with right? the other two. two. Yeah. So um, you hunch over the path and can immediately tell as you're studying and running your fingers along things. Um, this trail is regularly traveled uh, for the ambush site. There's about a dozen goblins, maybe, as you sort of like pick through the footprints that have come and gone within the past week. Um, That's what I'm saying, dude. And Absolutely. you can also see clear Dicer signs loaded. of two human-sized bodies that have been hauled She like never rolls site. below like 16. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, are there any other <clears throat> details you're looking for in here? Um... If not, Can you help me out? <laughs> maybe like the number of uh, times it's been traversed or the amount of, of creatures that have been on it, it something that like that. That was mentioned. Oh, if you um, were paying attention. I was wasn't it? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> There's been 12 goblins in the past week. Okay, well, what about how many goblins? <laughs> like, oh, I say oh, creatures. I say creatures. <laughs> were they hauling anything? Uh, so maybe bodies? Yeah, to like their hideout, kind of? Aria, also with that roll, uh, you find a green glass vial, um, similar to the one I just actually identical to the one I described to Brennan, but you, Aria, aren't aware of that. So, yeah, you find a glass vial. Um, and I want to use my sleight of hand. Oh, my God. Okay. Steven, you don't even no. find it first. This is this is what Aria finds first. Ah! I want the juice. Now, I do have a question about that. Like, um, so when I find things, is there somewhere to like notate on my sheet that I have it so I don't forget? Yeah. So do you see? Do you see equipment? It's like where your money is. Um, money. In the middle. The bottom. Okay. So is it the EP? Yeah. Um, No. uh, So there's a little. Oh no! I add to the list. Yeah, and then at the bottom there's a plus button, so you can 
add it so, in there. Okay. Um, so green vial. Yeah, and go ahead and make a... You're proficient in alchemy, I see. So go ahead and make a um, alchemy skill check. I wonder if you click it. Where do I click on that? Okay, so do you see tool proficiencies and custom skills on the left? I alchemy see... Supplies. Oh, other uh, other proficiencies in languages? Uh, no. above. Right above that. Oh, yeah. Alchemist. Okay. So click Alchemist Supplies, uh, and then for the attribute, it's uh, going to be Wisdom. Wisdom. And then I don't. we'll give you an additional modifier. Okay, so you're going to add... Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I got it. So go ahead and do that for me. So the... Alchemist. Oh no, I change over here. Wisdom. Yeah. Submit. Yeah. Fourteen. Nice. Okay, so fourteen plus two, which is your wisdom. Yeah, that's right. Fourteen. Uh, you would know this is this is um an alchemical acid. So you can apply this to an arrow. Um, it'll stay on the arrow for an hour. You could also apply it to a sword or any other bladed weapon that'll. But I can keep it in the thing, the vial for now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bonus action to open the cork and dip an arrow in. Okay. And then is it good only once? Only, yeah, it's a one-time use thing. Okay. And then my last question is, I'm realizing I have arrows in this um, equipment list. Am I supposed to be docking the arrow number down every time I use an arrow? You can if you want to. I kind of think it's a nuisance. Like, it doesn't make the game any more fun. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you're fine. We'll, we'll give you unlimited arrows. Unless if you want to go... No, nah, I, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, do you guys want to level up real quick, or take a rest or anything? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a rest. All right. So, um, before you guys set out, you can climb back into your wagon and rest for eight hours or an hour. Eight hours, you'll get all of your health back and all of your abilities and stuff. Yeah. Well, clearly, we should do eight hours. All right. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, let's do eight. So everything is reset? Uh, yes. And you guys go to level two. So Woo! Um, you're going to have to edit your character sheet. Um, the way you do that is at the very top in the upper right-hand corner, there should be a little gear. Mm -hmm. uh, and then change your level to two. Perfect. And then click the gear again. Where's the two? What? It's on the so right side after here, you click it. There should be a drop down menu for level. Uh, I, I typed in two and then I clicked the gear again. That's it? Yep. So uh, there's actually a good amount of stuff for you guys to go over. Um, can everyone look up? So uh, Ari is playing a ranger. So look up ranger and then put 5e. Um, look up where? Ranger 5e, uh, and then that'll bring up look for D and D fifth edition on roll twenty compendium. Um, huh? Here, I'll just send links. Hold on. So this is for. I have my. They went. That's for Arya. Um, and Kevin, you're playing a warlock. 5e. This might take a second, guys. Just a heads up. First time leveling up and all that. Kevin, here's yours. Good. All right. So, um, first thing we're going to do is roll health, uh, roll your next set of hit points. <coughs> so, you should see at the very top hit points, hit dice. Uh, for Kevin, it's 1d8 for Warlock level. So, yeah, Joey's got the right idea. Roll it and then add your constitution modifier. And that's how many hit points you add onto your hit point maximum. So I type in. Yeah. And Joey, don't forget you've got the additional two from your constitution modifier. <coughs> right, yeah. Wait, so where does it say what I type in? So do you see um, hit points? Seven. The section hit points? Yeah. Seven plus three. So well, I get is extra. Is this in ten. the link you sent us that we're supposed to see it? Yeah. 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 Hit dice? Okay. Hit dice, hit points at first level, then under that hit points at higher level. So 1d8 or 5 plus your constitution modifier for warlock level after the first. Okay, so okay. I'm doing 1d8 plus my constitution modifier 
Oh, uh, I have spell slots now. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. I uh, I gained so. ten health from that. So do do we do the one that says hit points at first level? You do hit points at higher level. At higher level? Mm -hmm. Brennan's coming. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna roll one d10 and then plus your constitution. And what's and my constitution? And you'll find that. Carrie, I think you have the big decision to make. I think I you get spells at second level. Ooh. I get spells at second level too. It's lit. Nice. Uh, Joey, do you want to, do you want and then where do I put that? In the middle so here. What do you say, Monica? Do you want a spell guide? Like an optimization guide? For small 12 to sure. God dang it. Okay, I'm back. Um Carrie, do you want do you want a spell optimization guide or Does that mean that it'll, it'll, it'll give you a little bit about each spell and give you the Yes. Oh, I'm getting great weapon fighting. Hundred percent. So you guys get, Carrie, you learn two second level spells. Or sorry, 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 sorry. Two first level spells. Um, we should also talk spell slots real quick. Um, oh, Kevin, you get Eldritch Invocations. But the way that spell slots work is um, you cast a spell of the specified level and then you subtract a spell slot. So Carrie, you have two spell slots for your first level spells. Um, so each time you cast a first level spell, you subtract one slot until you're out. Uh, and then you can't cast it more. Um, Brennan, can you? I don't know how how well you know the game, but Carrie also has to pick a fighting style. Uh. Which should probably be archery. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to like do that for her on her sheet. Okay, I can set it up. Bio, spell, core. Yeah, I'm pretty useless at. Um... Oh, maybe I should have done defense. Yeah. Joe, you can still. Oh. Do. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to think. Everyone else so... seems to be doing damage. Maybe I should do that. Um. Yeah. I'll so, do Carrie, that. that'll give you an additional plus two to hit, but not plus two to damage. Uh, okay. So I just put it in. Now you have a plus eight to hit with your longbow, which is pretty damn good. Fantastic. And any ranged attack. Okay. Um, so wait, I typed in 1d8, and then my constitution is two, but it says constitution modifier per warlock level after first. So is it still two when I hit level two? Or does uh, that is that supposed to be going up? No, wait, sorry, say that again? Okay, so I typed in 1d8, and then it says plus your constitution modifier per warlock level after first. So my constitution is 2. Yes. So I do 1d8, uh -huh. but 1d8 plus 2? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't roll it. So put slash r 1d8 plus 2. But like, just plus 2, right? That's it? What yeah, the fudge? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Can Slash R. Do I to... <laughs> Dash R. Do I have to do a space? Space. Oh, God, he's stupid. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and Carrie, I just added uh, archery to your features and traits. Okay. I got nine. Nice, dude. That's big. So add that to your maximum hit points. Ooh. No. Current hit point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm at 19? Let's freaking go! Um, Kevin, you also get a second first level spell slot which is updated, and you can learn another spell. Oh, let's freaking go. So under Eldred's Blast, I can hit the plus? No, that's cantrips. Um, uh -oh. Shoot. So first level spells. 
Uh, should I go to spells? Do we fill out the spells on our sheet? Yeah, you should also be able to. Um, do you guys see the eye in the? So next to the chat and the newspaper, there should be an eye. Yeah. yeah. So that's the compendium. Um, if you see a spell that you want to add, you can try searching it and dragging it. Uh, so like if um, you want to learn spike growth, carry. Um, you can look up spike spike growth. It's in there. So all you have to do is drag it into your character sheet, and it should go with it. Okay. Um, oh, that's it, not how you spell divine. I'm an idiot. It also yeah. might not be in there because this roll twenty only has like the very basic stuff. So mm -hmm. um, if it's not in there, then you're just gonna have to copy it in by hand. Kevin, let me know when you've got your spell, because uh, you actually have a pretty big decision to make. So I can just pick any of these things from the eye, like adventure backgrounds. Any of these would be fine? Like there's nothing no, I no, should no. do for a warlock? No. Um, you can only take a first level warlock spell. Um, yeah. So if it shows up at the compendium, that's great. But the compendium isn't telling you what you can do. It's just It's just there as a resource. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, how do I find... You, there's a um, spell optimization guide for Warlock. Um, and you're learning at first level spells. So, like, Armor of Agathis is good, Kevin. It gives you, um, uh, like, ice aura around you. Um, and if you take damage, it'll damage people back. Um, okay, where do I find that? How do I add that? Uh, you can look it up in the compendium and then drag it in and drop it. But also, Armor okay. of Agathis only works against melee attacks. So if it's a ranged attack, it's not going to do anything. Uh, is there anything against ranged attacks? Well, so it'll still give you temporary hit points, but it won't damage Friend, them back. Come help me. Um, okay. Hex okay, is so... a really good spell. Um, Which one? Hex. Oh, so, Hex. Okay. Let me also... How many of these do I get? Just one more. Just you can more. also you can also change out one of your spells if you want to. Gotcha. Here is a complete list of spells that you have access to as a warlock. By the way, I'm putting all this in the Discord. Yeah. Um. So once you open that link, switch from cantrip to first level spells. And you guys feel free to ask me any questions. I don't know what to get. What are you? What are you stuck between? How many spells do I get at this level? Just one or two? Let me check. I only have two spell slots. I would be surprised if you only got one. That would be pretty brutal. Uh, how does oh. how do you, how does Carrie add the spell that she wants? Um, can she drag it in from the compendium? You just like drag it into the spells. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Joey, I think. I have a search for them and they don't come up. Let me check. Wait, shoot. So what do I want to do? Because you have to go into spells first. Okay, so Joey, uh, you actually mm -hmm. prepare your spells. So at the beginning of every day, or whenever you finish a long rest, you I'm choose uh, any number of spells from the Paladin list to prepare. Um, you can prepare uh -oh. a maximum of your Charisma modifier plus half of your Paladin level rounded down. So four. Uh oh, so I can pick, so I can just like, Put these in, four. and then just every day pick four? Yep. Whoa, that's wild. Okay. Yes. So you can have a max of four at a time prepared, uh, and obviously you only have two spell slots. Right, so I can only use two, but I can prepare four. Okay. So I have Illusory Script. What does that do? It lets you write on things. It's not a very good spell, but 
Okay, so can I? So I, you said I can pick one up and trade one, or no? Yeah, That's, yeah you can. Okay, can I pick up Hex? Yeah. And definitely. then I want to trade out Illusory Script for Witch Bolt. Nice. Yeah, good choice. So Carrie's choosing Hunter's Mark, which I just dragged in, and then she also wants to do Absorb Elements. Nice. Yeah. Is that not? I a don't. Compendium? I don't think it does. Okay, so you're gonna have to look up. Oh, it's not a cantrip, by the way. Um, yeah, I kind of made this, and now I don't know how to get rid of this. Um, do you want me to just do it? Well, you can click the lock at the bottom to delete it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, huzzah. Okay. So she has Hunter's Mark, and then you said, what has to be done? Um. So. Oops. Or you can just do it if it's too complicated. Yeah, this is. <coughs> I can't find a hex in the uh, the list to drag in. Uh, in compendium, really? Yeah, I'm under right, spells. Anytime you need to find something, just type the name of it and then put 5e after, and it'll show up on Google. Just look up hex 5e. Oops. Uh, so, Carrie, uh, absorb elements is actually a reaction, which is. Normally, you would use your reaction to take an opportunity attack. You can take them at any point, uh, even when it's not your turn. Um, so if someone shoots a fireball at you, you can use your reaction to cast Absorb Elements, and that'll suck up half the damage, I believe. Um, Brennan, do you still have the text for Absorbed Elements? Uh, I can get it very easily. I can plug yeah. it in. Um, she said she's all right with that as well. I'm on her headset right now. Absorb elements is done as a reaction, so if someone shoots a fireball at you, you can use absorb elements to kind what of stop What the fudge? It. Which bolt isn't here either? Are you sure? Am I look? So, I'm under the eye, and I'm under spells? Oh, no, just search it in the top. Just put... Search oh, wait. For... Huh. It's not there, yeah. I mean, you are... Totally right. Yeah, so you gotta put them in manually. I can help you in a second. Okay. Wow. Even my lame spells are in there. That's crazy. You suck. <laughs> Shut the freak up. I'm just dragging my spells over. Shield of Faith? Sure, I'll drag it over. Why not? Wow. Thunderous Smite? Don't mind if I do. Yo, Ravens are winning 28 to 14. Brent, do I need to click down? So, Kevin, you also have to pick invocations. Oh, my, oh, okay. I have to pick, huh? Right. Invocations, which is a whole ass thing. Um, oh, boy. Jerry, go ahead and click Absorb Elements and read over all the details. And let me know. If okay. You're... Same with Thank Hunter's you Mark. for filling that out. Of course. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is a bonus action now, so you've got you got a bonus action too and a reaction. Fantastic. Um, okay, so Kevin, you can go. Now, am I good after um, this? I think you might be. Let me double check real quick. Okay. So you got your fighting style. Yeah, that's it for you. Thank you. I'm probably going to go to bed soon. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I um, get tired early. Kevin, have you looked at the Eldritch Invocations yet? Uh, or do you have your no. spells set up? Sorry, I jumped. That, that's okay. So I typed in hex manually. Nice. Okay, yeah. So then you got to copy and paste the details of the spell um, into the description. Okay, where's the, where do I find the description? I'll, I'll do it for you real quick. Um, let me also stream this just so you can see what the process is. Um, so you don't make him do it again. That's basically what he's telling you. <laughs> Okay, so I just looked up Hex 5e, so I'll take the first one. Um, so this is a bonus action. So can, uh, did it switch to the other screen? Yeah, I see you. Okay, cool. So Hex is going to be what school of magic? Uh, it is an enchantment spell of first level. So we're going to go here, enchantment, casting time, I believe it's a bonus action. Yes. Oh, here. Can you just keep that up right there, and I'll just type it in so you don't have to keep going back and forth. Oh, I was going to copy and paste it. Oh, okay. Because it's way faster. Um, range is 90. Uh, target. 
I always leave targets blank. Um, so verbal somatic material. Technically, you have to have newt eyeballs, but we can ignore that for now. It's too complicated. Um, it is concentration. So we can talk about concentration too in a little bit. Duration, one hour. Uh, Spellcasting ability, eight. So I'll put spell card, description. All right, everybody. I'm going to sign off. Thanks for having Catch you later. Carrie. Oh, Bye, Carrie. Good night. Uh, so like I was saying, right. chat, so Kevin, this is probably something text. that I'm going to do every Monday. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah. We did some good stuff you today. We leveled up. That. We yeah, just, did a pretty good fight. Um, I didn't really do anything in the fight. Oh, I did now? some damage. Which, which bolt? Um, I got it pulled up so I can... We got oh, upgraded right, so health at the end of that. All that sort of stuff. They're all dealing with spells and whatnot, which is kind of boring. Yeah, research. we went P. That's what's important. Um, we so hit the went I next to it, P. And then um, um, hit the gear. On top of that, again, I think this is going to be an every Monday thing. And I'm going to look to try and do. Yeah, I'm going to try and find ways to make it a little bit better. Uh, and then, make and the then stream I just, look better. Oh, I just kind of threw this right template together like yep. literally 10 minutes before we started. And I was like, oh, hopefully that works. Right. Um, so I'm going to try and find ways that can actually make it look... Oh nicer a little easier to read that sort of thing and i want to find ways to get you guys involved hey, as viewers school? i want to do Passing like time, one minute um so it's first level evocation spell if you say next to the spell level uh, like polls and stuff to see uh, yeah first level at... what you guys want me to do uh, as no, an action not on the thing that I sort of thing oh, okay. um, well, i think that would be a lot of fun oh, okay, and so I'm going to oh, practice, yeah, no, yes, like, I'm setting all that up, no doing that. I think I have to be... It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, spy coins is a good idea, actually. A very good idea. <laughs> okay. I think if I... You're a freak, I think bro. I can actually do it from Target. the creator dashboard. I'll leave that blank. Manage Components poll, create new poll. Question, should I use polls for... <laughs> Character oh my God, choices. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my D. Yeah. Yes. Adding no. song to the queue. Oh. Yeah, I'll sure. let people use additional <laughs> votes. They can use spy coins to like uh, submit another vote, or they can use bits to do another one. So you should see the poll right now in chat, and then you can select which one you want to like do. You. Nice. What the nice. Hell okay, sweet. And so, can people use? Can you try using coins real quick, Fief, to uh, to submit another vote? I'm not quite sure how you would. Do Kevin, that. do you have the description? Yeah. Unless I have to do it from like. I think I got it. All right. Cool. Ah, nice. What if I now? Um, you can also change the output from spell card to yeah, damage. Give me a second here. To attack. Here, can yeah. I do? Um, so then take the Modify. details that are in there and uh, change them. <laughs> oh my god! Interesting. <laughs> I can't maybe I can't do it because <laughs> maybe I just can't do it because I can. <laughs> You can look at that. Oh my god. That's lit. Uh, Mike is talking and just here sniffling in my ear. Freaking, I don't know where to begin. I'm so pissed. Oh no. I completely missed that. What just oh, happened? Sweet. <laughs> like, uh, what? Oh I put it to attack and then what do I do? I don't know. I don't have any sweet. of the information for damage, damage to healing. Okay, so um, that's all in the spell that's description. That's really cool. So you're sure to pull it from there. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and do that hit, now from takes... from here on out. Okay, so you make a range Get spell attack involved. against that creature. So that's gonna be spell attack bonuses plus five. Oh heck okay, yeah! So spell no, I didn't make range. you waste anything. Then... What are you talking about? That's two hundred right, less oh, okay. than you so can you use now attack, you for making me play with one the hand. Damage is gonna be one d twelve. Um, and then the type is lightning damage. Is that what it is? Yes. One, two, twelve. Oh, no, <laughs> there you go. 
Um, I don't think it takes your ability modifier. Yeah, okay. So that's that's the whole thing right there. Easy I money. would reimburse you, so thief, if you click but I, I literally do not attack. think I can. Go ahead and give it a try. Because I was going to make spy coins like uh, not the, not the a gear, reward the, uh, to give to people if they yeah, and did then something click in the stream or something like that. Just like the other weapons. But I, I, don't, I literally don't think that I can. There you go. I can gift it. But, hmm. Which is a bit work. of a bummer. I mean, that was the easy part. You know what? From here on out, I should make the category for D&D &D just chatting. Because we've also got to get you mm. um, your invocations. I still have 2,000 so, more? Oh, no. Warlocks, oh, because they're like no. really gimpy when it comes hey, to spell casting. Uh, they have, like, that's fine. I play D&D with one hand. I'll just use the mouse. Um, that would be a waste of like however many, however many coins it is. So invocations are like permanent changes that 800 you can coins. to your uh, yeah. character. Yeah. Um, that will like seriously buff it up. Um, so I sent a link to oh, hold on, they're talking a warlock invocation guide um, that you can open. Okay. Up, like two, you you get to pick two invocations. Oh, he's right still now, doing stuff for uh, every time you. Here, I'll minimize that. Uh, <laughs> he's still doing stuff uh, for uh, them, uh, making sure that they. Um, I would recommend definitely agonizing blast because as a warlock, you're going to be casting a lot stuff. of eldritch blast, and agonizing blast lets you add a flat. I think four damage to your uh, hits. Where's this link? I see the warlock spell list breakdown. Oh, 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 is this it? Hold on. It has to just be the invocations. Here's the invocations list. Oof. Oh, you know what? I didn't send the guide. I need plate mail. Yeah, you do. You got 2,000 gold pieces. Is that how much it costs? Sir Mad. Yep. Whoa! Yeah, Holy crazy. crap! Hey, what happens okay, when I, I do this? And I cast Shield of Faith. I'll have twenty three AC. Whew. So then, what am I? Where am I putting Eldridge stuff in? That? Um. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on, Eldridge. Five E. Okay, Kevin. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Fuck me in the ass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Follow the link, and uh, then scroll down to Eldritch Invocations. Oh my land on hands has a pool of ten now. Oh, let's go! <laughs> All right, so now I'm on this page. And scroll down to... That's hilarious. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's right at the top. I... Uh -oh. Sorry about that, guy. Uh, it's under <laughs> Thanks for the money, boys. Features. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Good looks. Uh, Jeez. 10 cents per viewer? Oh, oh, it's only okay, 20 yeah, cents? Yeah. Now I gotta run another yeah, one to get to 30. Oh my god. Just kidding. I would not. I'm, I'm not ah, doing it. Ah. I ain't doing it. Yeah, you get and two. You said, Dang. I get two? Okay, so this is fun. any of these... I, I like the D&D &D oh, night idea. And the second level one? I like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, okay. Which one going did you to say keep I do. Um, Agonizing Blast is fantastic. Okay, where yeah. do I add that? Um, so Just seeing what they, did you also, the computer came with. Yeah, sorry, one second. Man. Hmm. So Adam, what are you what are you, you, what, are you uh, what are you rebranding to? And uh, do you want me to do like a a walkthrough of my streamlabs? Here, I can do that for you real quick actually. Definitely make it more interactive, oh keep it interesting. Yeah. Well I liked like your ideas, like the peeing one, like that was a good idea. I was like, I will use this. That's good. <laughs> this is shake. You're gonna start streaming tomorrow around seven with Pokemon Crystal Hack. Uh, but you think you figured out a lot of the stuff with OBS the other day? Ah, nice. I um, great. I mean it's gonna be different because right, so you use added, OBS and I use Streamlabs OBS. Okay. And then what that's um, gonna do? Do you have you overlays and stuff? Because I actually I started doing damage, a lot of stuff with. Here, it'll let me, do let me uh, ten plus uh, your modifier. Okay, me. my charisma is two. Oh no, my charisma is five. Three. Let me bring them way down. Um, 
because I I'd done a lot of stuff no, with actually setting up overlays, workshopping uh, them, that's your spell attack bonus. editing them, that sort of stuff. So we're talking about your charisma base stat on the left. Tell them Stream said to do this to get away with stuff. That. That's not a, that's not a bad idea. Get out of it. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. They're really loud. I can mute them. I realized it halfway through me talking. I was like, they can definitely still hear them. <laughs> Here's the problem that I don't have yet, which is going to make it easier, is that I don't have a stream deck, which I don't know if you guys know what a stream deck is, but basically it's a keyboard but you can set it to do specific actions so i can set a stream deck that would automatically use or uh, that would automatically mute me on discord rather than you know setting up a keyboard configuration or actually going into discord and hitting mute i know that they have some apps that they have for the gui but i was just like oh you know i'll wait for a bit because i didn't really i kind of underestimated how important the stream deck actually is um for a while at least yeah you just need the extra screen basically and i i thought about setting it up and I, i'll probably give it a try actually because i actually didn't realize that the software was free i thought you had to pay for the software and i was like well if i'm going to pay for the software i'm just going to wait to buy the thing i have heard it's a little jank i have heard that but i'll give it a try and see how it goes um but yeah, getting a stream deck will be so much easier because I'll be able to control muting of certain things, fading into certain shots. So like right now, if I want to transition, I have to open up Streamlabs and then I have to click on the transition that I want to switch over to, you know, that sort of thing. And so then you can switch back to whatever, all that jazz. But um, 7777B, bit, that's, uh, that's a big rip. But, yeah, this is, um, I can go through this now if you want, Adam, while I'm here, just real quick. So I don't know what OBS has, but, like, Streamlabs has this, the chat here on the left that you can minimize. You can hide your viewers, all that stuff. Um, I don't know if you have, like, transition set up. So whenever I switch to another thing, I have the shark, my logo, come up on the screen and... And obviously it engulfs the screen. Then I go into a different fade um, into the next transition. So to do that, actually, here, let me do this one real quick because this will be slightly better. Um, to do that, you have to go into edit scene transitions. Again, I don't know what it's like for OBS. But for here, you can make specific transition types, whether they're a stinger, a cut, a swipe, a fade, whatever it be. Uh, and you can edit it that way. And that'll give you that. You have to supply it the file. So like I had to go into Photoshop and I had to physically make the logo. And then on top of that, I had to go into After Effects and then animate the logo to appear on the screen and then get bigger and bigger until it eventually gets to black. Then in the transition, when you go to edit it, you just set it up so that on a specific frame is when it transitions to another scene and so i chose the frame at which uh you know you're in the shark's mouth where the screen is already black so you can't see the cut yeah they're both adobe products so after effects adobe after effects and then adobe photoshop um and so i had to like go through and do all that animation and if you can see it's very quick but if you can see the teeth are actually see-through on the shark so you can see what's behind it it's very quick so that was just like a little feature that I added to try and make it a little more, um, I, I don't know if professional is the word. I just went for it, but it's like hardly noticeable. So it's whatever. So that's what I did for the transitions. Um, and then for my actual frame itself, um, I had a, a first generation that I did that I just made in photoshop and it was a standstill frame but then you could insert you know recent subscriber recent follower their names and it would show um, but then i went back and i remade this frame which is sleeker and nicer but it's not as noticeable which has its drawbacks and benefits and so i made this in photoshop um, and since they're both adobe products you can easily transport the photoshop file into after effects 
Um, and then they kind of work with each other in that sense. And so like these different colored pieces here on both sides are like a specific layer in Photoshop. And so when I transfer it into After Effects, you can actually edit those specific layers. And so what I did is I made those layers switch between colors between like a purplish and a bluish. And it's very subtle. Um, but as you can see, it goes to purple, a semi lighter purple, almost a pink. Uh, and then it goes back into the blue spectrum. And then on top of that, I also made that my logo here gradually gets bigger and smaller just to add a little bit of movement and a little bit of momentum, I guess, to the thing. Um, but when I'm in something like the D&D &D, um, setup that I just made, you don't really notice the shark here moving too much. I mean, if you really look at it, obviously you can see it's moving. But generally speaking, you don't notice that. And you don't really notice the color change because it's very gradual. So unless you stare at it for, you know, 10 seconds or however long that loop is, maybe seven, then you'll see the color change. But if you look at it here and then you look away, you probably won't notice. You think you colors or code some of the color stuff on a HTML template instead? You probably can. You probably can. I just did the color stuff in After Effects because it, it's all built in and it works with Photoshop. But you probably could. I don't know. Mess around with that. Um, and Streamlabs is obviously based off of OBS. Or excuse me. Streamlabs OBS is based off of OBS. Um, but they're not the same, obviously. So OBS might have some features that Streamlabs doesn't have. So that's for the scenes uh, you've set up here. I'll switch back to the full. That way you can get a, a good view. Um, and then on top of that, you have um, this mini feed here that lets you know followers, subscribers, raids, that sort of thing, uh, all built in. And then you have your sources. And in here for this specific scene that I have, um, I have alert box, which is kind of like the number one thing that you need as a streamer. I mean, you don't need it, obviously, but that's the, you know, oh, the most recent subscriber appears and it's got some music and words and a little picture or a GIF, whatever. That I have in. <clears throat> I have in, this is a game capture. The game's not up. Media share I have set up, but it's not active. And so I don't know if OBS does media share, but media share is a feature, at least that Streamlabs does, where people can donate a certain amount of money and give a video that they want played or a piece of media. Um, and it'll play that piece of media for X amount of time based off the dollar donation. I think every dollar is 60 seconds, something like that along those lines. Or I think you can tweak those values. So like one day I might do like a media share Monday, eventually down the line where people can donate, you know, two bucks, a dollar to share a video that will be shown on stream. I have my webcam. I have another game for Assassin's Creed. Uh, I have the event list up, which uh, I was actually looking to replace with something like a little bit sleeker or a little bit more, um, I guess, just nicer in, is, uh, is the term for it. And then you have display capture. But sources, there's so much you can add, um, ranging from the standard of like images to window captures, just regular text. Media source is actually what I use in, and I can show you this. Um, where am I going? Starting soon. So in After Effects, uh, I actually made, you can't see my mouse on the screen, obviously, but I made this countdown and this, this like loading bar that goes up bar. And obviously the animation for the starting soon, like that flame, electric, whatever effect. Um, and those are actually the media source that I brought in. You can bring in MP4s, movies, WAV files, GIFs, whatever it be, that sort of stuff. Thank you, Fee. Thank you. Uh, and so I brought those in for this specific. So like that loading bar I made in After Effects and I set it up so that after 15 minutes, you know, this little white thing gets all the way to the end. And then I just put in a countdown as well. Yeah, thank you. It is pronounced GIF. I'm glad we agree. Um, and so that's, uh, that's like one of the things that After Effects is really helpful for is making those like media sources that are actually video based or even GIF based. 
like that countdown I made in After Effects too. I just coded it to freaking countdown. Briefly explain After Effects? Sure. I'm still, like, I'm better at Photoshop than I am After Effects, but After Effects is basically, it's a video editing and audio editing software combined. So it's kind of like, um, it's not like Adobe Premiere, because Adobe Premiere is used for, like, making movies and that sort of thing. It, Adobe Premiere has better editing for video and audio, but After Effects allows you to add effects to video and audio. And so you can export them as, actually, I should be able to bring it up for you. Hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. So um, if you get the Creative Cloud uh, desktop, you can just kind of download whatever you want. And they, they, they have so many different things. Really, all you need is Photoshop and After Effects and Media Encoder. Um, but anyway, so if I open up After Effects, and I'll make this really brief. I, I don't want to get, I mean, I don't even really know the detail that I would even get into. I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. That way you can see whether or not you think it's something that you would want to do or not. Um, but yeah, Adobe After Effects, like there's a ton of stuff, effects online for free, like fire effects, you know, flame. The one that I used for the starting soon is like, I think it's called Saber. It's like the number one effect thing that's used. Um, it's called Saber and that's used to create lightsabers, electricity, some weird flame stuff. It's very interesting. They have a lot of cool stuff. Let me open a project here. So I'll open the starting soon. Uh, I move a lot of files around, so you kind of end up missing some stuff. Uh, but basically, this is where it'll it'll display, you know, what you're about to see. Which right now, I think the reason it's not is because I moved all these files around. Hold on, let me try. Try opening another one. If I open this one, how do I? Uh oh, nailed it. How do I see it? There we go. See, even I don't, even I don't know. But like, so what you do is in this situation when I when I brought in the actual transition, it kind of gives you the file that you want to use. And in this situation, it's only one layer that I was using, uh, so it's pretty it's pretty clear as to kind of what I wanted from this that makes sense um, and this is the one file that I was using but basically uh oh in the transition you can set these parameters um, that control scale rotation so it, it doesn't have to be an effect by movie standards it could just be scaling something rotating something making something scroll changing its color so Adobe After Effects is more than just like Oh, I want to put a lightsaber in my scene. It's it's also like there's no effects in this other than the base stuff that comes with After Effects. And all I do here is increase the scale and the opacity of it to the point where it gives you a black screen and then it fades away. So the clip, the moment where I chose to choose the transition was right around here where it was a full black screen and then you transition into the new one. So I didn't even use any effects in this. I just used the standard stuff that it has uh, to do to do that sort of thing. Does that make sense? Uh, I had chat closed, so I don't know if you said. It's like Photoshop for animations, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, but it works with Photoshop. So if you have an idea of like, oh, I want, you know, I want these top three layers to change color and rotate counterclockwise, but I don't want that bottom one to go anywhere. You can do it in After Effects. Um, there's so much more that you can do with it, but I'm like I, I haven't even really gone into that realm, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so there's that. That's for the sources, and then on the right here, these are all the widgets that are associated with Streamlabs OBS. 
Uh, so this is stuff that you have online. You set up follower goals, event lists. Uh, stream labels is like where you get your recent follower, recent subscriber from, that sort of thing. Uh, do you have a subscription to it? I do. That's the one thing I hate about Adobe is that they make you do like the yearly subscription. You used to be able to just buy the application you wanted. Um, but since Carrie is a student at Towson, we used the student discount for Adobe. And I don't remember how much it is a month. I think it's like 20 a month. 24 but i actually like i use it for more than just streaming like i'm working on this card game right now and so i use photoshop for the card game stuff as well so i i just kind of make sure to use it but you can cancel it any time so if you make all the stuff that you need then you can just cancel the subscription and you already have all the files saved and exported all that sort of stuff um but yeah i'm not quite sure what obs has like widget wise but i know streamlabs has a decent amount of stuff takes an extra step to get the widget set up. I imagine that you'll have to like link it to a Streamlabs account or like a um, element, Stream Elements or something like that. One of the other ones. Um, yeah, Streamlabs OBS just has it built in. Um, and then you just have your mixer over here. You control desktop audio, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I just went through and in stuff like the D&D &D one, if I go to it, um, this right here is just the full screen that I just I, I just resized it to be there. Um, I highly recommend making a background, by the way. Highly recommend. Something that can just be in the background of anything. So like these areas at the top here where normally I'd have nothing to put there or fill it in, um, the background can take care of that for you. So I highly recommend making a background that's interesting to look at. Um, but then, yeah, the rest of this is just like clever resizing and making sure stuff is positioned where it needs to be. Um, inserting some text thing. Like this was all just last minute. I'm going to make this look better down here. But like then I'll go through, if I go to my Desume setup, this is going to look really janky on stream, but stick with me. This blue right here and this purple are borders that I put in myself. So I made these borders in Photoshop. And then I brought these in and put them in to give it a better look, if that makes sense. Um, to give it a little bit more defined look. So I'll probably end up doing that for the D&D &D screens as well. So I'll put in a border around here. I already have a border. I'll put in one here, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. So we're going to work on or work through for tomorrow. Nice. Is your background a, a preset for Streamlabs? So the background is just a source. So I made the background in... Photoshop and then I just exported it um, and then obviously since it's a source I can you know control whatever size it be that sort of stuff and so I just bring the background into every single one of my scenes and you just put it all the way at the bottom because obviously if you have it here it'll cover basically everything um, so yeah highly recommend coming up with that you probably can preset it but I, I don't I don't really know that much yet <laughs> um, I just never really explored going for something like that. But um, I know that Streamlabs also has built-in like filters that you can apply to stuff. And I don't know if OBS has this. But like you can make image mask stuffs, um, cropping, scrolling through here is also what you can do. So if you have something that you want to scroll through and you don't want to have to bring it into After Effects, you can do it in here. Uh, color key stuff, sharpen, chroma key, whatever. So like green screen stuff, I think, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Eventually I'll try to set one up. You would chroma key that stuff. Um, and that's just built into Streamlabs, which is kind of nice. <sighs> um, so I don't know. I don't know if you want to stick with just OBS or if you want to use like Streamlabs OBS. I'm not sure. Um, I honestly, I can't really tell you the difference between the two because I don't know a whole lot about OBS other than the fact that Streamlabs is kind of built off of the style and the structure that came from OBS originally. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the setup that I came up with. And then here I can show you 
this as well. Uh, actually, I'll stream this to you on Discord one other day because that might have some semi-sensitive stuff on it, uh, like stream keys and that sort of stuff. Because Streamlabs OBS has a local um, application, which is what I'm in right now. But then Streamlabs OBS also has a uh, website that is associated with your account that you use. That's where you set up your, you know, uh, your follower alerts. So I that's where I choose where I want the picture, the audio, and the text to come from um, is on the Streamlabs website, actually. So that I can show to you after I end the stream, which, you know what, I'll actually do now. Yours comes more integrated with Twitch and extensions than mine does. Yours more is general use software. That's what I thought. Like, this is very specific. Um, and I kind of just wanted that. I didn't want to have to kind of build it out more than I thought. Uh, am I able to embed web pages in yours? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, I don't know if they would make that a standard source. Maybe it's a, no. I think you can. That's a good question. Um, browser source. Yeah. Yep. So web-based content source, you can just throw it right in. Um, which is nice. That's always nice. Gives you a lot more control for stuff. Wow, they all they all left. Big sad, frowny face. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Hang on though, let me respond to these boys. All right, uh, let me clear this out right quick. So yeah, this is Streamlabs. Uh, I'm gonna end stream and then I'll call you on Discord real quick, Adam, and I'll walk through what the web looks like. So yeah, stream, thanks for hanging out. It's been real, it's been fun. It's been real fun. D&D is fun. I'm not very good at it yet, but uh, hopefully with time I get better, which I think I will. So for now, I will bid you all adieu, and I should be live tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there. Be square. All right, all. I will catch you later then. Good night.